Making plans, you know, to get <laughs> from Vegas to Golden State on yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. It was a tough one. When they do it again at the end. I know, tough one. What are you going to do? We you up your yeah, those kids fall hard, though, like being shorthanded in the tournament. and those, They played hard all season. I love that team, so. Hey, Kyle, we were just talking to, to Finchie a little bit about that lineup that you guys had in the fourth quarter that got back into it. Yeah. He said that you gave him a little bit of a look when he put, pulled Mike off the court. Yeah. Uh, just what did you think about that group, and what, how did that, I guess, work for you guys, or how did you guys make that work? Um, what did stand out to me is uh, – that we could get stops with this group. So it's like, all right, you know, we got these last six minutes, we're down eight, let's get stops. Um, you know, we, we're, we're super capable with this lineup. Um, and then I looked and seen Trey Young on the floor. No, no offense to Trey Young, obviously a great player, no offense to him. Um, but I mean, there are ways we can attack him and score. So uh, that, was, that was just kind of what went through my mind um, at, you know, at that time. You obviously like being the point guard and having the ball in your hands. Mm -hmm. Was it even more of an owner, onus on that, just without that second ball handler with that group? Um, um, a little bit, but I mean, I think these last few games, Jaden has came into his own as a capable ball handler. PZ has done a great job, especially if they were going to put Young on him. He did a good job of making plays or scoring. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of guys who, you know, I, you trust making decisions and who have came a long way since Ant and Cat have been out. They just said he wants to play the lineups and just have the guys who are playing the best in it. Yeah. That might lead to more of those lineups. Uh, yeah. And other teams like Sacramento, Golden State will obviously try to attack that. What are the ways in which that group can continue to succeed defensively? Uh, I mean, just just us out there, just keep being ourselves, really being able to switch. Um, you know, you got to line up with me, Jaden, and Peasy in the backcourt. That's tough. Um, so being able to switch one through five or whatever coverage in, um, we've had a trouble with def uh, rebounding on the defensive end, so we shouldn't have any problems with that group on the floor. Um, I, you know, you mainly want to think getting stops at this point of the year, and then uh, on offense, you know, just you know playing through whoever's rolling at that point, um, whether it's Jaden, whether it's Cat, whether it's Nas. That even that big lineup had pretty good ball movement. Um, obviously, in the next game, you guys had really good ball movement. Did mm -hmm. you get? Cat and Ant back in here. What are the keys to, even with like star players, pe people not deferring and continuing to keep the ball moving and being aggressive? Yeah, I, um, I, I think fans or you know some people at the game think, well, you know, how's the ball going to move? How many possessions are in the game? A hundred. So you know, there's plenty of time for our guys who need the high volume shots to get those shots, and then there's guys for you know three, four, five, six. Jaden, myself. Jalen, uh, whoever it is, you know, the, the, the rest of us to find our groove as well. So that shouldn't be a problem. We're all pros. We're all NBA players. If you even got your rhythm now by game 70, then I don't know if you should be out there. <laughs> if there are two or three isolation possessions in succession, does that kind of stunt any rhythm that you guys have with ball movement? Uh, yeah, because you, you want to kind of, you know, keep feeding the hot hand for sure. But uh, like I said, we're pros. We work on it every day. We play this game every day. So... Um, you know, when the time comes, we got to be able to deliver or knock down shots or make plays. Kyle, have you been kind of encouraging Jaden to keep this aggressiveness that he's had over the last few weeks? It seems like now that when you get Ant and Cap back and just the shots are going to be redistributed, just in terms of he be, him being confident and assertive the way that he has been? Yeah, I think he knows that. Um, he's a really good player. Um, I th he's super smart. His IQ. He doesn't. He doesn't talk a whole lot, but he knows the game really well. So I think he knows. In order for us to win, he's got to be aggressive offensively, and he's got to, you know, be a great defender and rebound the ball for us. So he knows all that. He knows his responsibility, and uh, you know, we trust him. Talked about Trey or just any player, I guess, where you see a matchup that anybody can kind of attack. What does it say about a team's IQ though, where you guys were really anybody? It even switched players. Like you can just be so intentional about finding the best matchup and attack. Um. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, using it really to our advantage, uh, having high IQ or not. Just, you know, we want to kind of create the best opportunities for us to score the ball. So uh, Trey's obviously, it's not just because, uh, you know, we're saying Trey's a bad defender. He does so much on offense as well that we want to make him guard and kind of tire him out on the defensive end if we could. So, uh, I mean, we won't see that team ever, uh, again this year, but I mean, it was, I, I think it was kind of smart to make Trey work on defense as well. He's other, a great player. Other teams have players like that, though. Like, opportunities like that can still arise again. It could. Um, it could, yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't want to call anybody yeah. out or any teams or any <laughs> guys out. Coming respect, at you. Respect, <laughs> our, you know, uh, respect my our opponent <laughs> always. Respect the opponent <laughs> always. <laughs> Thank you, guys.